Coming to you from Keiko Studios, it's The Balcony Show with Ann Thatcher, Bo Summer, Mike Roy, Donna Gallucci, and me, the Mad Cat. We have searched the globe for the best in indie music so you don't have to. So here we go, The Balcony Show. in far away places, sent with love and good vibes. Just keep an eye out for just what's coming. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Balcony Show. Oh, we're back. Woo! On today's show, we have Reverb Selection, um, Francesca Tarantino. This young lady is 15 years old, and you are not going to believe the voice on this young woman. So talented. She is incredibly talented. I can't wait to follow her journey. So she'll be on later on the show. But first... I have a thatch tag. Ooh. Oh boy. Thatch tag. There it went. Interesting. So <laughs> it's, we're heading into camping season and my mom was a single mom. Okay. Okay. So when you're a single mom, you don't have a lot of money to do vacations. So our vacations consisted of camping, which is why I no longer can. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you camped? It's it's been years. <laughs> I loved it when I was a kid. It was great. But anyways, we were my mom had rented a pop up camper, and we were on our way home from uh, the vacation, and and we were all jacked up. You know what I mean? Because of course, when you're on vacation, you eat a lot of junk and stuff. And so the three of us kids and uh, a friend of ours were sitting in the back seat. And we were carrying on, and my mother said, if you don't shut up, you're going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. And my mom had the uncanny ability of being able to tag us from the front seat. (laughs) So we knew that she meant business. Well, we turned around because this was before seatbelts, and we faced the back of the car, and we see the camper unhook itself. Oh, no. And it's swinging oh, back and forth. Oh, that wobble. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. So we start to yell, Mom, Mom, blah, blah. And she says, I told you, if I tell you again, you're going to get it. So all of us kids turned around, sat down, zip, <gasps> not a word. It wasn't maybe, but three minutes later, my oh. mom looks in the rear view mirror, the side rear view mirror, and there is our camper politely passing her oh on the God. left hand side. Oh my God. In the middle of Delavan, <laughs> which had a cobble street. Oh no. So the front of it was going. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh my God. It passed us and literally parked itself on the right hand side of the of the road. No way. Wow. <laughs> it was there was the only thing that was damaged on it was the the hitch, the pipe to the hitch when you, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. That was literally curled up from it bouncing on the street. Oh. But oh, the camper itself off. was not. But Lucky. I want to tell you, there are times in your life when karma is absolutely immediate. <laughs> <laughs> and I will never forget that as long as the look on my mother's face when that camper... <laughs> <laughs> Because it took her a minute to realize. Complete disbelief. Wait a minute. That's the camper that belongs behind me. Yeah, that's not something you see every day. No, yeah. and and the fact that it it didn't bang into anything, it literally passed her on the left hand side of the car, pulled in front of the car, and And parked parked itself itself. on the right hand side. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that is some away. story. <laughs> so, did, so the kid, did, did any of the kids say, "Oh, that's what we were trying to tell you, Mom"? Oh, 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 oh no! Of course. But you know what? What then? Then we got the stink guy. You yeah. know what I mean? And, that, and when you get the stink guy, you just shut up too, because yeah. the, after the, the stink, stink guy, guy no then one's you're winning really in this situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so my we gosh. just. But boy, did we talk about it later. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, your mom must have been flipping out. It could have been so much worse. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, that, could, that camper uh, could have flipped. It could, oh, have, God. it could have done damage to our yeah. car. It could, there's, could have, you know what I mean? So many so things that could have happened. What but, a story. So anchor, <laughs> make sure your pop-up campers are anchored, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a tip yeah, from us here. 
Anyways. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to get things started tonight with a song from a band named Koizumi. She has, uh, this is a female lead band. I think you're going to really love them, too. The name of the song is In Love With The Enemy. So give it a listen, and we'll be right back with the rest of the show. Secret fight in the dark of the night. It was just you and I, and no one else. All the whispers and lies from the sources outside. They could never understand it. But who even let them in? I'm a runaway bride who's gone missing. You're the Balcony Show right now is our first song from tonight's interview guest, Francesca Tarantino. The song is Runaway. When we get back, we'll be talking with her. Check it out. I gotta get a move on. I gotta get myself out of here. The chills are taking over, filling my whole body with fear. Please someone take me home.
to check the time See about 30 minutes phone calls Feel people grabbing me I push and shove my way through the crowd So much I can take My inner voice is screaming out loud One step, here we are going Two steps, go back and party show we're super excited because we have a very young talented musician by the name of francesca tarantino on the line welcome to the show francesca thank you thank you so much for having me i'm excited to be here and congratulations for um being a reverb nation selected you were picked out of thousands of applicants and uh good for you thank you that's so cool wow <laughs> thanks <laughs> and so our listeners just heard the song Runaway. And if you want to set, you know, talk about that a little bit, why music for you? Yeah. So my whole life, my parents are a very musical family, not like they play instruments or sing a lot, but they, we all listen to music all the time around the house. And ever since I was a kid, my parents would play classic rock music, like Aerosmith, Kiss, um, Leonard Skinner, bands like that. And it's what I grew up listening to and it's what I fell in love with. They raised and, you right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> and not giving away so, our ages here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the music I love and I'm glad I love it and they got me into it because it's it's what I love. <laughs> um, but my dad also collects guitars. And so one day when I was maybe like five, I'm not entirely sure. He got me my own first guitar. And I honestly had no idea what I was doing. But when he put it on my lap, I was just like, whoa, this is so cool. And he taught me some really small and easy riffs. And then ever since then, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. And when I moved to Florida from Pennsylvania, the Lehigh Valley, I, uh huh, yes. She's a homie. I forgot to tell you. Wow, that's so cool. (laughs) There you go. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, but when I moved out of there and I came to Florida, I started in musical theater, um, and I did that for a few years, and I loved it. I got so many cool roles, and it was really fun. But then I wanted to get back to you know the rock and roll music that I love and playing guitar. So I was like, okay, let's switch to more of the artist route. And that's when I started taking serious guitar lessons and I started rhythm guitar maybe three and a half years ago and lead guitar two years ago. And I started writing my own music as well, which is really cool. And that's how all my songs now came about. But that's my story. And you said that I I read one of the interviews and you said that sometimes that your your music doesn't comes to you in kind of like pieces like you'll hear a riff or a melody or is is that how that comes to you it's 
everybody asks me what my process is. And honestly, I'm going to be very honest. I don't have one. It just depends on what comes into my brain first. Sometimes it's a lyric or just like a sentence and I'll build upon that. Or I'll be like sleeping in the middle of the night and I'll just think of something. Or I'll be playing on my guitar and I play these random chords and I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds good. And I write it in my phone notes. So it all kind of comes very randomly. <laughs> Probably an empath, I would say. And so you're picking up on some stuff around you. And that's really cool because that's going to serve you really well in in the future. You know what I mean? Because you're picking Definitely. up on different vibes and, and being able to put that into musical content. That's going to serve you well in the future. That's really exactly. cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Truth Cannot Hide. I love this song. I have Thank to you. tell you... Um, you can hear the the influence from being in the theater in your voice in the clarity of your tone. And oh, that, thank you. That was one of the things that made me sit up in my chair when I, you know I go through a lot of music to be honest with you, but when I heard your your the tonality of your and then I of course I said to Bo, Bo, you got to hear this kid. She's great. Mm -hmm. So Aww. I, I would say that the the time that you spent in musical ther theater served you well is in rock because there's a certain, mm -hmm. don't you think, Bo, there's yeah. a certain clarity in her voice? Without and, a doubt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you st And you, you stand out. Your voice stands out. Your songs stand out. You're so young, oh. but you there's something. I can hear that clarity here on this phone call, by the way. You have really? a hell of a voice. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Musical theater, it definitely helped me. It helped me with my stage presence and just yeah. like technique and how I talk and sing. So it definitely did help. And I'm, I'm glad you picked up on that. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. My daughter's a theater rat. So. Yeah. She's very well I versed used to be in too. that. Yeah. That's awesome. Then you, so you know how that goes. I'm sure your mom yep. does too. But um, Oh, yeah. Truth Cannot Hide. This was a this was a song possibly about a, f a friend that kind of did you dirty? Yes, it's it's basically about having somebody very close to you in life, a best friend who does something that you don't really agree with and you used to trust them, but ever since they showed their true colors, all you can see is a liar and you just can't trust them anymore. So that's what it's about. The truth cannot hide. That happens too when you grow up. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah unfortunately, yeah, I'm picking up on it early. That's yeah. life. Yep. Nah, you know what? It's not what you. It's what it's what you do about it. That's you know, it. moving yes. along. I like to say that all the time. Moving along. Move it forward. Move it forward. Move yourself forward. You got move forward and write a song about it. That's yeah. right. Go. Got no time for <laughs> yeah. that. You go, girl. So uh -huh. we're gonna take a break. And we're going to let people hear your song, Truth Cannot Hide. So everybody, take a listen to this fantastic song. You're going to want to go download it. I guarantee you're going to want this in your playlist. Truth Cannot Hide by Francesca Tarantino. Check it out, and we'll be right back with her on the show. I was a soldier for you.
it all in and stand by your side But we both know that the truth cannot hide Back to the balcony show. You just got an earful of truth cannot hide by Francesca Tarantino. Yo, Francesca, listen, I got a question for you. All right. What's next? Like, what are you up to in the next couple weeks, music wise? Well, of course, still practicing. I practice every single day mm-hmm. and I have like two or three gigs every week. So, oh, and then oh, the next few weeks, I, yeah, You're I working. love playing out. Oh, yeah, you know it. Nice. Coming back um, to the Lehigh Valley anytime soon? <laughs> actually, next week, I'm going for a family reunion, oh. which is going to be super fun. Oh, um, cool. Do you know Do you know the oh, shoot, what is, the amusement park called Kenobles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very well. oh, yeah, we all know that's that where the That's where the family reunion is. That's oh, where they're going. Gosh, that's awesome. That's so cool. You can get your yeah, bones really shaken excited. by a wooden roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I haven't been in forever, and I'm super excited to go back. Oh, that's oh, awesome. That's great. And their funnel cakes are so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is true. Best funnel cakes in pencil tucky. That's what yeah. they say. <laughs> you know that's it. What they say. <laughs> okay. So I got to talk about tragedy a little bit. This mm-hmm. tragedy, this now we're tonight, we're going to hear the acoustic version, and this is your latest single. But the song Tragedy, the first, uh, I guess, the first release of this e-break music uh leading global multi uh format indie artist dis- discovery platform announced that tragedy is the newest number one on e-break 58 a break a break sorry no, say it right. oh, yes it is <laughs> how did that feel oh my gosh i can't even tell you how surprised i was to be honest it is so cool knowing that so many other people are enjoying my music enough to get it to number one. Number like, one. It, it's just insane to me. And it's, I've, I was really grateful and it's, it's just such a cool opportunity. Well, so what made you decide to do an acoustic version of it? Okay. So while I was out gigging, I performed tragedy on an acoustic guitar and it's just me and my voice nothing special, like an unplugged version. And I tell the people that I have a fully produced version of it out. And some of them go and listen to it. And then some of them just come up and tell me, they're like, I really like it when you play the acoustic version out. It sounds really nice. And then that's where I got the idea. And then uh, some other people recommended it to me too, that I should record an acoustic version with the cello as well um, and make it sound really, you know, more sad than it already is. Okay. Well, I want to tell you something, Francesco. I can't wait to see where the road brings you because I Aww. I see nothing but really great things in your future, young lady. And it's Thank such you. a pleasure. One of the greatest things about our show is that we follow people. Once you're on our show, we continue to follow your journey. If you have new music, we'll put it back on. And we like to catch up with artists once in a while, too. So, um, absolutely, we're going to be following to see where you are, because I think, I think given some time and you know what I mean? Like, I I can't wait to see what, where, where you're going to be at in, you know, another couple of years and stuff like that. If you could be anywhere, let's say, we'll say five years, because that's fair, right? Um, where would you be and what would you be doing? In five years. Okay. So in five years, I would be 20. So I would say I just want to play my music for the world and go tour and play music, my music for as many people possible and make them happy with my music and meeting new people, probably have a few albums released. Um, 
and just see where the road takes me. Well, best of luck from all of us here at the show. And we're going to continue to follow your journey. When you have a new single, please contact us. It was such a pleasure speaking with you. I can't wait for our listeners to hear your music. And with that, we're going to listen to the acoustic version of her song, Tragedy, by Francesca Tarantino. So take a listen, and we'll be right back with the rest of the show. Today's the same old day Never thought it'd end this way Can't find the words to say Now the spars been ripped away Once again, you have AJ here taking over for Mad Cat tonight for Mad Cat's Mad Tracks. And tonight's Mad Track is a song called Last Words by the band The Loyal Order. Check it out.
Looking back, ain't it funny that you were wrong with? In the eyes of a broken child, love is like a vision. Second largest streaming platform. No, but that doesn't not surprise that. me. Doesn't su- it's not surprising, but wanted to bring that to people's attention, especially independent artists, because you want to make sure, first of all, second largest, obviously Spotify is number one. Uh, but no- nonetheless, Apple Music is just as important with 32.5 million subscribers. And that's probably whatever research I was doing at the- that number is probably already surpassed at this point. 
Um, but there is something that you can do as an independent artist to make sure that you're taking advantage of this number two largest streaming platform on the planet. And that's going to make sure that you can get yourself on your dashboard, your artist dashboard access, fill out as much detail about your music, the metadata, your information, bios, pictures, graphics, you know, links to socials and whatnot. There's a page you can create assets that are downloadable that Apple Music helps you out with the graphics. So you can download those graphics and then upload them to your socials, driving people to Apple Music so they can find you Do there. Do they pay better than Spotify? I don't know, I, but I might need to check question. into that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very I would be good... interested in, in knowing what the difference is yeah. as far as, yeah. you know, because I know SoundCloud, I think, pays better than, um, yeah. and I know Bandcamp, I think, is the number one, I want to say. As far say. as paying? I don't want to say, I, I think it's Bandcamp. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to check into that. That's, that's a great point. Um, yeah, we, maybe we should know so that we could tell people. Yeah, this is where you know what I mean. But equally, focus, so focus take on, advantage right. of it because everyone's got an iPhone. Everyone's on right. Apple Music, yeah. and it's not always about Spotify. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so take advantage of it. Like, there's so many wonderful tools for everybody. You got to take advantage of it, you know, and and list some family members to help and get your stuff, you know, loaded right. And And AI. AI is a great tool for that. Yeah. You know, like chat GPT. Some of these services are absolutely free. They're free and you can, within seconds, you can have an awesome bio that you can even, you know, tweak to. It's crazy. Yeah. It's amazing. So check it out. Another another great tip from Bo Summer. Uh, I'd like to remind you that the Balcony Show is proudly produced at Keiko Studios, right here in Penn Argyle, Pennsylvania. Check them out at KeikoStudios.com. It's time for the spotlight portion of our show, where we showcase new singles from returning guests. And your host is Donna freaking Galucci. Woo! <laughs> here we are once again. Yes. <laughs> We have a great new song for Spotlight tonight. It is Out in the Cold by Grim Jack. And there's also a great new lyric video for this song. So be sure to go to YouTube and check it out. Give yeah, it it's like. really cool. It's really cool. Um, Grim Jack is in NYC and they're they're doing a lot of playing out. So go hit up their, uh, yeah, their website. Yeah, and their website, their yeah, Facebook page, right, their Instagram. Yeah. Just, you know, follow them, give them a like. And check out the great new song tonight, Out in the Cold, Grim Jack. Out in the cold I thought I heard a voice call Time the wind blows out. 
Another great show. Thank you to Francesca. Can't wait to see where that kid is in a couple years. Yeah. I'd like to remind you that you can get on the show through Reverb Nation, who we are affiliated with, and also through Songdo. And you can also go to thebalconyshow.com, and there's a way to enter there. So three three options for you folks, and you might have the opportunity. But um, make sure make sure your ducks are in a row, right, Bo? Yeah, you put them in a row. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you to everybody, to all of our listeners who take the time to listen and support us um, on Facebook and everywhere that that we're at. And And follow these artists. So much talent. Yeah. Yeah. They're worthy. All right. With that, I'm going to say goodnight. And we're going to end things tonight with the song The Lights from Bright Eyed and Blind. Just a